All right, let's talk a little bit about our tip of the week. Today, we're gonna to be talking about creating an office library. So as we had talked about previously, um, an office library would become a linked library. Okay, so there are three basic library methods for you to organize within your company. So we have the ARCHICAD library. Okay, the ARCHICAD library is the library that comes in with ARCHICAD. Okay, um, it is not wise to go in and change a lot of that. It can cause bugs and crashes within your ARCHICAD. So we wanna leave the ARCHICAD libraries that are associated with Graphisoft where they're at. An office library would be a linked library or a library that's living on your BIM server. And this would be all of the library ob objects that are specific to your company that you want to be used in every single, um, every single project. You want those objects to be available for each project, but you don't want to bog down ARCHICAD by embedding them into your template file. So you would create a linked library for that. And then you could have a project specific library that is specific to that, to your one project, and that would live within your embedded library. Okay. So it's always nice when you are working with an office library, which is what we're going to um, kind of focus on. So that's going to be our linked library to use a naming convention that is specific to your company. All right. So in this instance, uh, they use the acronym LMK. So all of the library parts that are specific to the company, to the office, start with a LMK. So that way we can distinguish those very easily from um, maybe some trash objects or surfaces that come in from downloading things. Um, and they can be kept separate from a project specific library or embedded library. And why that's important is if you're looking for chairs and you want chairs that are specific to or that are approved by your company to be put into projects or cabinets or whatever it might be. When you're looking at that list of cabinets, it'll be easy to identify the ones that um, that are approved by your office because they start with that specific naming convention versus the ARCHICAD libraries or the embedded libraries are not going to come with that naming convention. So when we're thinking about adding an office library, it is a great concept and it's used by many, many people. It is easy to manage because it's a folder system that is accessible to anybody in the office. And as you are finding new objects that are useful and you're thinking, hey, I want to um, I want to make sure everybody has access to this so it can be used all the time. Anybody can add objects to that. The cons are if that library is not managed properly, it can create bugs. Um, if bad library parts are brought in things are moved around where they shouldn't be. Um, it can really cause a lot of issues within your file. So what I always recommend doing, and um, each office that I work with, I kind of set a, a point person, um, somebody that is in charge of most of your BIM management. Um, and they are the only person that has writing access to that file. So when you have a file system in a shared folder system on BIM server, however you manage that within your company, you can have people that have read-only access and you can have people that have writing access to those folders. Um, so the read-only people can go in there and see what those objects are, but they can't remove or add objects to that library. So then I would have a subfolder created with objects to be reviewed. And then your BIM manager would go through and review those objects. And then with their writing access to your, folder, your um, office objects folder, they can then approve those to be brought in um, and put onto your office objects. 
And what's nice about having that, that Office Objects folder, it's a linked one. So each time you add something to the folder, um, it is instantly going to be seen in any project that that folder is linked to. So steps that you would do to create that, we kind of went over this, you create a master office library folder, and then you have your subfolders in there to kind of split everything up on how it's going to, or what type of library part it is, right? And then you set up the permissions on who can control this folder, just like we were talking about, um, some people can have read and write privileges and some people can have read only privileges you are then going to load your office library into your project folder so if we're talking about um template files right so you would have this library linked in your template file so that way each new project that is created automatically has this um this file linked so that way you're not having to reload it with every single new project you would link this library in your template file and then each new um, instance of ARCHICAD that is opened up to create a new project is already going to have that linked you can create a container um, and put that office library in that container and you would do that from the file the file tab within ARCHICAD uh, you would choose what library you want that library container to live within and then make sure you have all of the naming conventions set um, and saved.